am at the M Squared Open House in Fresno. And looks like quite a few people are here. I see lots of vehicles uh, parked along the street here. We're kind of dodging uh, the rainstorms today. So probably a, not quite the turnout that they usually get here. Items on this flea market table. W8. Henry amplifier. It looks like a whole satellite system here with a two meter and 430 uh, circular polarized beams on a short tower section. And you don't need to be way up high to work the satellites. Looks like a little more sophisticated elevation rotor than what we normally see. And down here is the azimuth rotor then. The antennas have both vertical and horizontal elements which are fed out of phase to set up a circular wave for the, uh, for the polarization. And they run an interesting mount across the back to feed the coax out the end and back up in so the coax doesn't upset the pattern. And a little more uh, substantial than just hanging the coax down. Which if you look around a lot of pictures, you see that's what people end up doing. And here's the two meter. We're getting the same type of where the coax out the back, out to the side, and an arm to bring it back in so it's not hanging down. Very nice. Now, if you want a more serious mount, they have this sitting over here. How do you like that? Yeah, this could certainly handle a couple little beams, probably about a 10 foot dish. Pretty stout as hell mount. There's the um, rotor for the azimuth. And all that welding there. Pretty stout. Here's a portable mask. Set the frame on the ground and pipes going up. And they have it holding up a disc cone. And looks like a 20 meter dipole. There's a fellow selling some of these fiberglass military masks. I've got some of this, some of the aluminum. Uh, I could do a video about it in the future. It's a rather unique uh, mass system. A little bit different than what he has there. Stay tuned in the future. Huh. You know, you kind of wonder if that's by design. Probably works. Just what everybody needs. A nice stack of mobiles in their vehicle. How do you like that? <laughs> I told him I put the offer. That's cool. And then these must be all the antennas that go with them. These are all the antennas that go with them. And the reason I have an antenna for each radio is because if I have to drop it on a stage or if I have a location that loses a radio, something goes wrong, I can just unscrew one of these, hand them the antenna, and they're instantly back up here. And that way it gives me a little bit of freedom. It makes me have to consolidate my operation a little bit. But it's worth it because then I don't have a location that needs to talk. And so, Joy, what do you use all this for again? <laughs> <laughs> it's the Baker to Vegas Challenge Cup Relay. Cool. Yeah, it's a... I know who you are now. Who, me? You make those videos. Yes, I make videos. <laughs> See, yes, I, I know this guy from somewhere. And I had the camera right in front of you. Yes, we used some of the videos at the, <laughs> at the outer club meetings before. Oh, okay. Yeah. Great. Thank you. Well, I rode down on the train from Sacramento today ah. instead of driving. Yeah. So well, I had the APRS have... running and the Wi-Fi and my well, iPad. So you'll notice I've got the APRS here. Yep. And I do that. We run APRS during the race. And so I can watch the teams yeah. or I can watch, I have a fleet mode on this where I can watch my technicians so I can see who's closest yeah, to which problem. Cool. So, you know, it, it is what it is.
Very good. Joy, KD6FJV. Yep. Seventh year here, huh? Well, no, it's the seventh year for Amateur Radio Expo. Oh, okay. See, what we do with Amateur Radio Expo is we're a group of hams that just come out and we present amateur radio at events. Oh, okay. Anybody who offers us free space. What does this say? You show up. We, we figure out a way to put something up. And we try to have something HF, something for the local VHF, UHF. Uh, we have the widgets for the youngsters. Yeah. And then they can take this back to show and tell or, yeah, for or the kids. their scouts yeah. or whatever and prove that they actually built a widget. <laughs> yeah. And then we have the Morse code here and, you know, some handouts and stuff for people to learn about amateur radio. Very cool. Do, do you go to the maker fairs? No. This is as far north as we've ever been. Okay. We normally are in Southern California, Southern. and we met the people from M Squared at some of the conventions and stuff, and they asked us if we'd come up and, and do it, and I said, we'll do it, we'll give you the concept, and they said, no, you bring your stuff up. <laughs> Yeah, Gordon just gave us talk about his propos. Working out over the ocean to Hawaii talk. I think you were. Yep, you should try it. 144, 170, horizontal. And again, what you're looking for is a hurricane down south and the high pressure system up north. When those two begin to come together, they begin to layer the atmosphere. When you get those multiple layers, that's when the signal gets caught up in that refractive index and travels the uh, 2,500 miles. Yeah, I know that. Ah, there's another interesting antenna parked over in the corner. Some type of helix antenna, maybe for two meters. I think it's big. That's about five, six feet across in diameter there. Well, we got lots of Yesu here. They brought uh, like the whole product line. All the HF radios. It's at the 950, 450, 897. There you go. All sorts of HTs to pick from. All sorts of interesting antennas hanging uh, from the ceiling here. Right over the AMSAT booth. The X store. The gym. Well, what we got? All sorts of connectors, accessories. Got uh, lots of ICOM and some antennas down there on the end. Six. And you always need some wire if you're a manufacturer or for your shop at home. You never have too much wire. And we're the outlets here. And there's your radios. Come and get them. Short line, no waiting. Amfest pricing. Come on down. TS830. Nice to have one of those. Flex 6 meter amplifier. Maritron 80B amplifier. CQ with chip. We might make. No, we'll, no, we'll make me. Setting up subscriptions. I don't know that. Oh, okay, sure. Gordon West with his license manuals, guides. On that channel, the floor, it's not so much on passing the test for getting the Well, there is a free lunch 
at the M Squared Open House. Yeah. Right. Everybody lined up under the rain. And so the line ends underneath the canopy and then continues on inside the building here. Oh, that's what smells so wonderful. Open that up again. Yeah. Wow. Cool. So what we have here is uh, the M squared two meter, 1.2 kilowatt, two meter amplifiers, 1,200 watts, including power supply. All in that package, or if you have your own power supply, you can get just the amplifier. So this would certainly key up the repeaters if you had one of those. Are you a real pig Drunk sale? sale. Well, it will be eventually. But well, you're heading that way. Yeah, we bought some property up in Gold Beach a few years ago. K7H. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so last lucky winning ticket. Lucky number for $150 and square cash. Now, I see a call sign on the back of this. Has anybody seen? Okay, I guess I have to throw out the call sign here. WA6 FFJ. Flatfoot Joe, where's Joe? Hey. Come on around, Joe, where are you? There he is, everybody. The last winner of the day. Hi, Randy here. I'm, I'm at the uh, Fresno train station. I rode the train down from Sacramento today and uh, had a great time over at M Squared. Had a nice lunch, got to meet a lot of people, saw several of my, uh, my fans. In fact, uh, just had a ride back to the train station from Andy, K6RY, so thank you Andy for the ride. And uh, so we're just waiting for the train here. It was a, a fun day and uh, got to see a lot of things. Saw Gordo and uh, Jim from DX Store and Chip from CQ. And, several of my fans so it was a good day and uh, the train ride was kind of neat on the way down I was having had my APRS running with my Kenwood D72 um, had it uh, between my shoulder and the window and that worked fine I had uh, and, and there's also a Wi-Fi in the train which is pretty neat apparently they uh, they link into link into the cell towers so I had my iPad so I was able to watch my APRS uh, tracking so I knew that was working and I was tweeting with a lot of my, my followers, so that was pretty neat. And uh, looking for the train ride back home. Uh, going home, I don't take the train all the way. I take the, take the train to Stockton, and then I take a bus in the last hour. So it's been a fun day, and uh, the trains are, are fun too. So uh, 73 from Fresno, K7AG. Sacramento and Northern California. 7.15, northbound train to Poland 2 station. Make way.